And an Atlanta Public Schools bus driver says she is not allowed to enter one of her assigned schools because she's Muslim. And now she is taking APS to federal court. Channel 2's Nicole Carr, live from Northeast Atlanta. And Nicole, the bus driver says this started with a prayer. Praying to Allah on her empty bus in her own time, just as she's done for over 20 years as a bus driver for APS. Now she says she's embarrassed and viewed as a problem or a danger because of her faith. I wasn't doing nothing that hurt them kids, nothing to hurt nobody. It's just the fear that people have inside of them that make people begin on the defensive. Twanesia Crawford has been an Atlanta Public Schools bus driver since 1996, but for the past two years, she hasn't been allowed in one of her assigned schools. I can't go in. I can't go in. I have to use the bathroom at a gas station. Her federal lawsuit against APS alleges it's because the principal of that school doesn't want this Muslim in the building. Crawford and her attorneys say her problems began one October morning in 2015 when she was sitting on her empty school bus in the drop-off line at Hope Hill Elementary. The principal of the school came up, knocked on the window, asked what you're doing. Um, she said, I'm praying to Allah. She had her palms raised. And then the principal said, you can't do that here. You need to leave. Crawford, who is still employed as an APS driver for that school, says the principal began blocking her entry from the school for no reason. This is part of one of their exchanges recorded by Crawford about a month after the praying confrontation. I am the principal of the school. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not I am, blocking anybody. I am directing you I'm before you go any further. I'm not blocking anybody. Before you go any further. I'm not blocking anybody. Before you go any further, I need you to stop. I need you to stop. I am asking you one more time. Do not come in my building again. Thank you. Have a nice day. No, I'm asking you one more time. Thank you. Please don't come in my Thank building. Thank you. I don't want to be treated as like I'm a monster when I come in to do my job. Now, Crawford's attorneys say APS never opened an investigation of their own into these uh, complaints. And as is routine, APS says they can't comment on this pending litigation, but they say a similar suit that Crawford filed against the principal was dismissed back in 2015. Uh, live in Northeast Atlanta, Nicole Carr, Channel 2 Action News. So, Nicole, have you been able to reach the principal on those? Yeah, we definitely wanted to do that because we had that video hearing her voice and everything, but it's one of those those things where while it's pending litigation, and she is not named as a defendant in this, APS is, but while it's pending litigation, uh, she does not have an opportunity to tell her side of the story. All right, Nicole Carr, Northeast Atlanta, thank you.